Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another video and as you guys can see from all of the mailers that I have here, which is crazy, I am going to be doing a sticker slash stationery haul and I'm just going to get right into it because this is what not filming a sticker haul video for over a month and a half looks like and I just really need to get into it because there's just so much that I have to show you guys and so much that I actually forgot about for the longest because I was waiting to make this video so let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay so first off I'm going to start off with packages from Two Little Bees. I have really been on a Two Little Bees kick lately and I just love her stuff. I think it's super cute and I have three packages from three different times so let's go ahead and start opening these up shall we i kind of already got myself situated which is good i don't think i'm doing this in the order that i ordered these items so i'm sorry about that i just kind of have everything all over the place this is a cute little journaling card which would have been perfect for valentine's day honestly i still might even use it um, i think it'll fit perfectly in my a6 but these i just got specifically for my a6 actually this was I think a freebie that she had going on um, for National Sticker Day, so we have that. And then I got two kits. I use these cute little bee kits in my A6 planner, and I really love how they look in there. So that's kind of what I was going for when buying these. So this is, I think, her like St. Patrick's Day themed kit. And it is foiled with, I think, hollow gold. And it does come with four pages. I just really love this little Hello Kitty camera. It's so cute. So that's one of them. And then the other one that I got is not foiled, but it is a strawberries kind of theme kit, which I love, love, love the polka dots here. So this is how that looks. I've seen the bigger kit of this, but I'm glad that she made the smaller one too, just so that I can put it in my ASICS planner. So that was my first order from Two Little Bees. And then I have this one, which I think I purchased before that other order, just because she did have... Her older packaging i believe she's now changing into this packaging which i think is really really cool i did get that same journaling card and i got two kits one of them was just a birthday mini kit which i'm not going to use for my birthday specifically i thought that i would just purchase it actually for my sister's birthday um so this is just how it looks it's really cute and dainty and it does have that blush color so this is kind of an extra sheet and these are the other two sheets and i really like that the bottom washi has like a whole length of it even though it is cut for the Erin Condren she does have the extra bottom washi which is good because the planner that I'm actually using right now needs all of that washi in there so I got that and then last but not least I did get another one of little bee kits and this one's just really cute and sophisticated I think this one's just Senia I want to say but it just has a lot of just stripes florals definitely up my alley. I really like that it has the habit trackers and a bunch of other just things that I would definitely need. Just a couple of headers, some half boxes, some little appointment labels, and seven full boxes, which obviously works perfectly for the seven days of the week. So that is what I got from that order. I'm kind of going a little bit faster if you guys have not noticed because I have quite a bit to show you guys. And then last but not least, this was, I think, this might have been the second order that I purchased. This one actually came with a little doily. Oh, so cute. And another one of the little journaling cards. For this time, I believe I purchased all of these sheets a la carte, which is something that she started doing with, I believe, most of the new kits that she's coming out with now. And I think that's great because I don't, let's say, always want every single sheet that the mini kit has. And then this way, I just get to pick the sheets that I want. So I ended up picking this really pretty full box one, which just says April showers bring May flowers. I just thought it was perfect for either April or May. So this is the full box sheet, the boxes, checklist, and little weekly box there. And then I also did get this washi set, which I believe is for the B6, I want to say, but I just wanted to see how it would go with my planner, especially because there's a lot of like repeats, so I could probably elongate that. But those are the two sheets that I got. And aside from this, I also got this extra little sheet, which just has a bunch of flags and some deco. I really actually love the cloud little planner. And then last but not least, I got one of these, which these are her little sampler sheets. I believe she has them in a bunch of different like backgrounds. I just chose the pink. And this does have holographic foils. So that is what I purchased from Two Little Bees. Next 
the little mailer that I have here is from Scribble Prince Co. And guys, I don't buy Scribble Prince Co. kits all that much. Um, but when I do, it is because they are so stinking cute. So I'm really excited about this one. I just purchased one, actually. And what was in here? I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I also purchased, I think, some extra foil items. And I think it's really cute how Emily just wrote me this letter. So if you're watching, Emily, I'm doing okay, you know. I'm just here. I hope you're doing well. That's what's in there. And this was a little journaling card, which I think is very romantic. And I don't know what else to say about it, but it's really cute. So I believe she did give me her freebie, which I've said before. I really love this. It just has some headers and some page flag overlays and a couple of just foiled scripts. And then I believe this was um, a freebie as well, which just says, will you be my Valentine? Which, you know, Valentine's Day is gone now, but... I can definitely put that in my planner somewhere. And then these were the stickers that I purchased. I ended up just getting some of these rose gold holidays. And I thought this would be perfect to put in either my monthly view in my A6 or the one in my cloud. Because I do have, I think I have two monthly views to be honest with you guys. But yeah, I just wanted those. And then I just repurchased two sheets that I was running out of, which were the FaceTime in gold and Little Meal. Um, little stickers in gold as well which i just love these so much um so i got those and then last but not least i just got some holographic monthly scripts so that was that and then this is a kit that i bought so cute i'm not sure if i'll be using this for actual easter but i think sometime in april for sure or even may actually i just love the blush pink with SPC, I also just purchased mini kits. Not that I think about it, with every shop that I purchased from, I just purchased mini kits. I don't remember the last time I purchased an actual full kit, um, just because I don't use, I mean, this is a lot of stickers, but I don't use as many stickers as I once did long, long ago. These are the full boxes. They're so, so cute. And I just love the different colors from like this um, taupey color to the pink. I just think it's so cute. So if you guys know, how Scribble Prince Co. mini kits look. It's basically the same exact format. And once again, I really like how they have that movie marquee there still. And then this is the bottom washi and date covers. So cute, right? Like, look at this little pancake. So that was what I got from Scribble Prince Co. Moving on from Paper Muse Crafts. I actually didn't even remember that I had this, so let's both find out what it is. Oh, cute. It's another kind of um springy kit so yeah i was really i guess in the kick of buying kits for spring which is good so from paper moose crafts i got this really pretty kit i just remembered which one it was this was a little freebie with little bows i ended up getting the bow headers i just really like her bow headers i think they're just really cute how many times can i say cute i don't know and this is how the full boxes look paper muse crafts has the most cutest daintiest things ever and i just love just the little cute additions of gold foil that the kit has all over i just really like that style so i got this and once again i really like also paper muse crafts because she has the whole long washi strip instead of it being cut which I know a lot of shops do, but since I do have a different planner than the Erin Condren Life Planner, I'm now looking at kits to see if the washi is long like this or cut and so on and so forth. So this is how this page looks. I just really love these pastel colors and I haven't had a chance to really use yellow in my planner yet. So this definitely screams spring. So super cute. Love it. So that is what I got from Paper Muse Crafts. Next up, I have one of my favorites here, Fox and Pip, and I honestly might have bought these a couple of weeks ago. This is a little freebie. I actually really like the rose. I know it's for The Bachelor, which I have not started watching this season or even last season, but, you know, I can definitely start now that I have this rose. I got one of these little die cuts. I think I just got one, or did I get two? I might have wanted to. I don't remember. Um, but if you guys know me at all, you guys know that I love to use these stickers, which just say I'll take a Monday sized coffee to go. So I thought that it'd be cute to put in my planners. And then I got some of these little page flags with the Fox and Pip bow. And this one is on hollow foil. I got a couple more of these because I really like to use these in my planners to mark whenever I'm having new releases for my shop. So I got one of those. 
I got one of these little happy mini sheets, which I like to put in my micro happy planner. And this one's perfect for whenever I go studying. So I thought I would get these. And then the rest are just regular sized sheets. I've gotten this before and I really love it. It's the print and cut one. I got more of the Louis Vuitton little stickers because I have some that I'm hoarding and I thought that if I bought these, I would definitely use them. And then I got these, which I think these were new. I love, love them. They're just for homework. So oh, these are so cute, I can't. I also got these, which I don't know if you guys have been watching my channel. Me and Paul just purchased a brand new game for our Switch and I just knew that I had to have these stickers. And now I can definitely mark whenever me and Paul play the Switch, which is like every night. So yeah, I believe she sells these in the regular color, but I got the pink because I just thought these were so cute. So I got those. I also got some cleanup ones. I love how cute all her stuff is. And then I got the actual stickers um, that say I'll take a Monday size coffee to go, which I was running out. I think I, I just ran out of it last week. It's a great timing. And then last but not least, I got the Lux Love Little Girl. One main thing that I really love about Fox and Pip is that she has an option for you to choose a redhead girl. And you guys know that I have red hair, so it really just works out. And I just really like that about her shop too. So that was my Fox and Pip little order next i ordered from a shop i think i actually might have been enabled by annie plants printables as you guys know i did get the three-day disney pass back in january so i definitely knew that i was going to be going back to disneyland so i thought that i would purchase some disneyland theme stickers and this was my first time purchase the store is called little planet papery so these were my cute, cute little freebies that i got in my order <laughs> so cute and then I also got this journaling card which has Baby Yoda in here. I love hand-drawn things just because I personally can't draw myself. So when I see things like this, I really just love. So this just says planners I love. Yeah, it is called Little Planner Papery. And then I purchased a couple of kits. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I just purchased mini kits from this shop. And at the end of this video, you guys are going to see that I now, in fact, have more kits for Disneyland that I have tickets to go to Disneyland so um, we'll see how that's gonna work out but let's start with this the artwork is just so stinking pretty like I can't get enough of it it's like so unique and pretty and I just really like it so this is the full box page of the first kit I have some checklists icons boxes and this is a two yeah this is a two page mini kit so I got that and then aside from that I got what I usually use which are the date covers, some habit trackers, and some flags. So that was the first kit, and this is the second one. I love, love the little teacups. They're so cute. And just so you guys can get an idea of the difference between these, if you live by Disneyland or Disney World, I definitely suggest you guys purchase these stickers. They're so cute and so unique. So those are the two pages for that kit. And then for this one in particular, I did purchase also the little add-on date covers, habit trackers, and flags. And I also ended up purchasing some deco because I just thought it was so cute. So those were my two kits. And then aside from that, I also was enabled by any plants printables for this, which is, I think, essentially just a little pocket for you to put your stickers. I'm not 100% sure if this is Hobonichi sized. It might be, but I thought I could just put literally any stickers. I know I have a couple from Fox and Pip that are kind of longer like this. It has one, two, three, four pockets. It's just so cute. Or I could even put like, I don't know, I'm thinking like money even. Or like airplane tickets and stuff like that whenever I travel. I don't know, I'm just trying to think of what else I can use this for aside from stickers. That was my order from Little Planet Papery. Next, we have Sticker Bloom. Now, I've only purchased from Sticker Bloom, I think, twice before. And honestly, I think I wanted to use this kit for January, and I didn't get it for January. I believe I purchased, I want to say, first or second week of December, and I didn't get it up until February. So that is a couple of weeks that you have to wait for the stickers, but like I mentioned before, she does usually have like 60% sales, so if you guys don't mind you waiting that long for shipping then i definitely suggest a shop to you guys but i just wanted to show you guys what i got okay so this is a little freebie and i did get the foiled headers these do have holographic foil which i think is cute 
and this is how the full boxes look. I just thought this was a very encouraging sort of kit, especially because of the office space and the planner here that says make stuff happen. And I could definitely relate to this. And I just love this little saying that says smashing all the goals. So I got this kit, which I can certainly still use it, let's say for like March because it has the green. Or even February, I might just sneak this in this week, who knows. This is what the pages look like. And this is how the bottom washi looks. I love the foiling on this and I really love the kit as a whole. I just don't know if I'll be okay with waiting for the stickers for that long, which I, for the most part, I'm very understanding about when it comes to that, but I just thought that almost two months was kind of a long time to wait for stickers. Next up, I have some stickers from my brand new shop to me, which is the shop Hello Petite Paper. I've actually been following her on Instagram for quite some time but I had never actually bit the bullet and purchased anything from her stickers. She is also a sticker shop from out of the country. This is her little business card, and I can definitely use this in like one of my planners, I know that for sure. So we're keeping that, we have another freebie, and I think all this is hand drawn too, I wanna say, I wanna say it is. I purchased, I think before I purchased the other two kits, and I just purchased a full box because I thought it would be just cute to put in either my A6 on one of the days that I go to Disneyland. And then this is the journaling card. And then she also has mini kits that look really similar to the two little B kits. So I wanted to go ahead and purchase two of these. And these, once again, are all her artwork, which I think is amazing that somebody can do that. So the first kit that I have here... Both of these are extremely cute, and I'm definitely super for anything that has coffee cups, so this is the first sheet. These are the first two sheets that have all the full boxes. This is the sheet with the half boxes and checklists. I really like these polka dotted ones. And then we have more half boxes, a bit of like icons, deco, and some appointment labels. So that's how the little kits look from Hello Petite Paper. And this is the Bug Lover. Oh, she calls them mini kits. This is the Bug Lover mini kit. So two full boxes. And then the other two sheets with all the labels, half boxes, deco, and some checklists. So I think I definitely will be using pretty much every single sticker from these kits. So I'm excited about these. And then next I have a couple of orders from Simply Watercolor Co. One of them was actually the pre-sale washi that I purchased back in, I believe, Cyber Monday. And then the second one is just some foiled items from her Dollar Tuesdays, I believe. Okay, so the first one that I actually purchased um, as a pre-sale was Pink Lux washi, which I ended up purchasing the bigger one as well as the thinner washi ones. I just think these are so cute. And I think I will definitely be using these on um, my birthday week. I think so. So these are it. I didn't purchase the other colors, but now that I think about it, I probably should have because I really like this. And then in that order, we got these two freebies. And I got some little foiled basic um, luxe little dots. So I got them in rose gold and in pink, which I really like how she offers pink foil at her shop. And then the other one was a bunch of Lux Little Dollar Tuesdays that came out a long time ago. But once again, I just haven't filmed in a while. This was a freebie for this order. And I'm just going to show you guys the different things that I got. So I got some little clips in gold foil and rose gold. I also got the bigger dots of these. These, I believe, are rose gold, gold. Some of these little washi Lux tapes, I just thought they were so cute. So I got those in gold, pink, and then I got more of the little dots. This is, I believe, in the gray kind of pattern, which essentially what I wanted to use these for were for little to-dos in my A6 planner. I just thought it went really well with my setup there. And then I got some of these Lux headers with the pink background in gold, rose gold, and then some of these, which these are the scalloped. Headers. I didn't even remember getting these, but I guess I got these. So I got this in gold and rose gold, and then more of those dots in gold and rose gold. So I think for now I'm pretty set on all of these Lux stickers. <laughs> I got a kit, which I think this is the one that I'll be using for Easter, but it is from um, Sticky Essentials. 
her stuff I believe is on premium matte paper and this one's called Hoppy Easter. Once again just really wanted to get all of my springy kits out of the way so I think this is a really cute kit. I love all of the little bunnies, eggs and stuff like that. So this is what the mini kit comes with. Some full boxes, um, the icons, flags, work labels, heart checklists, some more little fancy labels, headers, little things, sidebar pieces, deco, bottom washi, and another full box for Easter. I really like that. And some date covers. And then aside from that, I did purchase the a la carte glitter sampler, which comes with glitter headers and some more extra labels. So that is what I purchased from Sticky Essentials. I really like her stuff, although I think for the most part, premium matte paper is just a little bit harder for me to work with because I'm not used to it as I am with like matte or glossy paper but I actually really like her stuff and her stuff is pretty inexpensive so I definitely recommend her shop so that was from that and then I have here two orders from Simply Gilded so let me go ahead and take these all out and show you guys freebies for Simply Gilded were these two little bow seals as well as I got a Happy Holidays journaling card which I won't be using of course because it's past the holidays now but I did also get this one which I saw her post about on her Instagram and I was really hoping to get it and now that I have it here it's just so cute if you guys don't know I'm really into leopard print but pink leopard is just so much more cuter so i'm excited for this i'm probably going to put this in my a6 planner and this is what i got in my first order i ended up getting the gel ink refills i do have the subscription and i really do love the pens that come in those subscription boxes so i decided to just pick up two of these because i know that i ran out of ink in like two of my pens so i got two of those and then this is the washi that i purchased for my first order i think this was a double dip for the celebration subscription box um, i think this was the add-on i don't have the add-on subscription but i just wanted to pick this up this is usually what i do um, whenever they have double dip i also got one of these little simple line bows washi and this is a pink and then i got this which is, this is so cute this is a tortoise shell one and it has like a pink background i just thought it was so cute i thought i was meaning to use these all in February and look at me barely opening these up and then aside from that this was my other order which once again has a lot of pink can't complain love this one in particular with the um, leopard print I think this might be around the same you know it's a little bit lighter than the journaling card but this one has silver bows I also got the rose all day one it's just so stinking cute and I got these which have pink. I think this was a Valentine's Day release now that I think about it. So we have the gold, rose gold, and hollow scallops. I want to say this one's perforated, but don't quote me on that. And then last but not least, I got these which I believe we got one of these before in a subscription box, but like a black with gold bows. And I was really excited to see these in a pink colorway because I love pink. So that is what I got from Simply Gilded. And now moving on to the Crafty Banana. I've purchased one sticker kit from her in the past, but this was specifically something customizable that I want to say was a pre-sale. And it was some really cute pink coffee cups with my name on them. So let me show you them. I absolutely love the Crafty Banana's packaging. And I don't think you can get these anymore on her site. But make sure you follow her just in case they come back because I think these are so stinking cute. So this is a little freebie that I have here and these are the little customizable coffee cups. I hope you guys can see but if you can't, they do all just say Romina in them which that is just the cutest thing to me. You guys know my love for coffee and for it to have my name. Love, love, love this idea and I'm excited to have these to mark coffee days. And then I have two more things guys. I hope you guys are still with me. Um, one of them is my order from Paper Shire, which I ended up picking a couple of things that I was running out of, as well as new stickers. Okay, so this was actually a freebie for all the orders, which I do appreciate. And this was a freebie if you spend more than 15, I believe those are euros, which has her little cute bunny character. This is hilarious, actually. Um, I also went ahead and purchased a little magical food sticker sheet because like I mentioned, I will be going to Disneyland and I love the pretzel. So now I have a little sticker to mark that. 
I also went ahead and repurchased these floral video um, kind of YouTube play button stickers. If you guys watch my palm with me, so I love to use these to mark my videos. So I ended up purchasing two sheets of these just because she does ship from out of the country. So I wanted to be set with these. I also have these reading cushions because I ended up purchasing a book that I have yet to read, but I know that these stickers will motivate me to read. So here we are with these. Then I have these little designing half boxes, which I can definitely um, mark whenever I design new stickers. And then last but not least, I have the little computer flat lay, which this is how my computer view looks, um, aside from the macarons. But definitely always have my coffee next to me and my computer. So I just thought this was cute and another way to mark work. So that is what I got from Paper Shire. And now last but not least, I have here my order from Rose Color Days. Now this order was from the PBC sale. So if you know when that was, you know how long ago I purchased these stickers. And I've been hoarding them here to show you guys. But I ended up purchasing more of her little date dots. I have them in gold and rose gold. But I picked them up in silver and hollow just to be set. And I really actually like to use these for my dailies in my business planner. Which I will eventually show you guys. I think I'll put a picture on Instagram this week. So go ahead and check that out. So I got those. This was the freebie, not this one. This was a little freebie, which I have these in hollow in my planner already, as well as this was a PVC freebie. And this is another just overlay, which I really like this. It's actually like a light green, which I can use for like, I don't know, St. Patrick's Day. This is your business card. And then I ended up getting more of the Lux pockets. I actually already have this set and I have some of the pockets. I want to say two out of the three in my A6. But I thought that I would just pick them up, especially because they were on sale. And I could use them in, I don't know, my other planners. So I picked those up. And then I picked up some foiled stickers. First, I picked up the Bow Script Holidays. These are um, lettered by Jesenia from the Planner Sophisticate. And I got these in gold and silver. Just because I think for the most part, those two foils go pretty well with any of my spreads. And then last but not least, I got two of these sheets, which I had never seen before in her shop. Um, but this time I was really looking for other things that I could potentially buy. And I found these, which are her social media icons. I really like these and I think I will be using these in my business planner. So I got the gold ones and the hollow ones. And they just have a little Facebook, which I don't use Facebook, but I do have a Facebook for my channel. So make sure you check that down below and give me a like. As well, uh, we have little Instagram buttons, little mail ones, which I will be using a lot, and YouTube ones. So that is basically all that I have for this haul. Okay guys, so I have everything laid down. Um, I just wanted to come on here to say that I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I am so glad to finally be able to dig into all of these things because I've been having them for quite some time. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. Also, don't forget to, once you're subscribed, tap on that notification bell to get notifications whenever I upload my next video and hopefully I will get to see you guys on my next one. Bye guys!